Hi there, I'm Fox 2 News Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith with an update on a possible travel system today, June 1st, the first day of our formal hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin that includes the Gulf and the Caribbean Sea and we've got something brewing here off the Yucatan Peninsula and the track looks like it's headed for South Florida. We'll be on the dry side of it so we're not expecting impacts here but it'll be interesting to watch to see if this becomes a depression or a tropical storm. There is a 70% chance between now and Friday that it does at least get a number and become a travel depression. Once it becomes a travel storm, it may get the name Alex if that happens. Uh, starting to see a little flare up here. This is a broad low right now. It's not all that well organized, but it will work in the direction of organization according to the European model, which this solution here by tomorrow at lunchtime has it possibly forming up into a tropical depression uh, as we get into Friday, that is. Will, will by lunchtime. So we could see that happening fairly quickly and that'll bring a lot of rain to South Florida. But notice we stay dry with this solution and looking at it moving out into the Atlantic on Sunday and then by Monday heading up towards Bermuda. Let's check another model. The GFS not as robust with strengthening shows it in the Yucatan Passage on Friday and then by Saturday close to South Florida, not as far north as the European and it shows a real sloppy sheer system with that strong westerly wind shear again not affecting us but rain primarily for South Florida the models all pretty much in agreement the ones that are running it forward here and developing it take it across South Florida or the central part of the Florida Peninsula our beaches are looking a little better. Rip current risk is still moderate but the winds are getting lighter and we're trending towards a low risk by the weekend. The UV index is extreme and rain chances are isolated. Chance 20% tomorrow on your Thursday. High of 92 hot degrees there. Friday, a little better chance of scattered showers at a 30% chance. And then back to isolated showers and thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday with partly cloudy skies. We'll go on to about a 20% chance of rain continuing as we head into the first part of next week with temperatures getting hot each afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10.